Musicals, in a word, is life. Certainly my life, it's a way of life. Uh, it's a life choice. Whatever emotion you have, whatever you're feeling, whether it's high or low, um, you can think of a musical uh, that takes you somewhere, you can escape from who you are as a person, or um, it can embody and make you stronger as an individual. Yeah, musicals are my world. Uh, what makes a good musical? Uh, for me, love, passion, drama. Um, but for me, in a musical, I want to see something that is larger than life. The artist is still a traveler. That's what I'm trying to say to you. So when I'm traveling, um, as an artist, all the things that I've mentioned are all the things that I look out for because this is what gives me that wealth of knowledge and experience when I'm on stage. And so as an artist, I'm taking all these little snippets and I'm using them to, to grow as a person. Seoul is the capital city of Korea, as well as its political, financial, historical, and cultural center. It may appear cold at a glance, but it's imbued with art on every corner. One man is visiting Seoul to learn more about its art. Um, hi, my name's Hugh Maynard. I'm a musical theater actor. I've been in productions such as Notre Dame de Paris, The Lion King, Miss Saigon, and Sweeney Todd. Hugh Maynard is a British West End musical actor known for his multifaceted talent. He has played diverse roles in high profile productions, including The Lion King and Sweeney Todd. Hugh begins his journey in Seoul by visiting Bukchon Hanok village, a cluster of traditional style houses that bear traces of the capital's 600 year history. And I love, um, in fact, the sense of stepping back in time. I decided to go to Bukchon um, because for me, as an artist and as a tourist, I want to get to know Korea. I want to get to know um, I guess where it comes from, the history. Learning about a country's history and traditions is the first step to understanding its culture and arts. History and traditions represent people's lives, while the stories of their lives inspire art. So uh, for me, Bookshon is surrounded by technology, surrounded by the living soul. All of a sudden, you're in this very old village. Um, and the old and the new, uh, the, the contrast is, is, is quite...
Hugh is impressed by the juxtaposition of the old and the new in one city. This is also the reason he wanted to visit Seoul. I wanted to see Korea several hundred years ago. I wanted to see the, where the culture came from. I wanted to kind of delve into that history and learn more about Seoul and the Korean people that live here. This time he heads to the Donghwamun Traditional Theater to learn about the history of Korean music. The Donghwamun Theater is dedicated to Korean traditional music. It's designed like a traditional house, where artists can give performances without using microphones and speakers. It's wonderful, it's small, bijou, intimate. I love the traditional Korean style. Um, it's a wonderful feeling. I don't know what's going to happen in this space. Um, all I know so far be one person narrating and another person playing percussion. And that's all I know. It's a mystery. The clear sound of the bell guides the audience into another world. This is pansori, a Korean traditional music genre. A combination of the words pan, meaning a gathering place, and sori, meaning singing, pansori originated in the 17th century. It's a harmony of the singer's voice and the sound of the drum. Even someone who's new to this genre will be drawn to the emotional voice of the Pansori singer. It really is like watching any musical around the world. And you're taken on an emotional ride. Uh, the highs, the load, lows. Um, again, I was laughing, I was crying. I really felt for her different characters and understood the characters that she was playing. To a musical actor who often works with a large team, the one-person performance of Pansori is a whole new genre. It kind of stirred emotions ethereal inside of me. It, it's so simple, literally just voice and percussion. And obviously visually there's lots of acting going on as well, but it's the emotional content and the intent of it that captivates you. Uh, which makes it very different to um, other musicals because you have so many players in general, you know, one person doesn't make a musical, you know, um, but actually it does here and it works. Deeply moved by Pansori, Hu wants to meet the vocalist. As a musical actor, Hu is always excited to try different genres, especially the ones he has never seen before. Hi. 
Um, I imagine this must be very tiring on your body and on your voice. How many times do you perform each week? A couple months. Wow. 한 소리가 다른 성악 장르랑은 조금 다른 발성을 가지고 있어요. 예를 들어서 통성이라고 얘기를 하고 진성이라고도 얘기를 하는데 잘 이렇게 예쁘게 막 이렇게 절제하고 가다듬는 게 아니라. 우리 속에서부터 그냥 다 내질러서 네. 조금 다르게 특별하게 들리는 소리로 들을 수가 있죠. 잘했어요. 제가 그렇게 하면 돼요. 감사합니다. <웃음> Hugh decides to try one verse of Ponsori. <laughs> I was wondering what's the relationship here because obviously I don't understand Korean and are you following or are you leading what what is the relationship here 판소리는 원래 혼자서 하는 공연 예술이긴 한데 딱한 명의 반주자가 있습니다. 바로 고수라고 하는 건데요. 노래를 먼저 이제 소리꾼이 편한 상태로 하면은 그 고수가 거기에 맞춰서 반주를 갖다가 붙여주는 편이거든요. 근데 옛 말에 일고수 이명창이라는 말이 있어요. 네. 첫 번째가 고수고 두 번째가 이제 노래하는 사람이다. 그만큼 이 반주자 고수의 역할이 중요하다라고 아. 하는 그옛 말이 있습니다. The drummer plays an important role in helping the vocalist give her best performance. In addition to playing the drum, the drummer also adds excitement to the performance with various verbal exclamations, known as chuimse. Oh. <laughs> 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 いチーム性역할은공연장의분위기를우리가되게만들어주기도하면서창자가힘이들때힘을불어줘요넣어주는그런역할도하고이チーム性은고수만넣을수있는게아니라관객들도참여할수있는한국특유의아주고유한문화라
This time, Hugh heads to a bustling market, a perfect place to catch the local vibe. Um, but yeah, I kind of sense the history um, in this market, you know, really authentic Korean markets. So much to see and touch and feel and taste and smell. At Pungmul Market, you can find all kinds of articles, from antiques to modern gadgets. Back in the 1950s, after the Korean War, refugees who settled down in Seoul opened street stalls and junk shops, which would become today's Pungmul Market. I like this. Hugh strikes a pose with the Korean traditional pipe. He certainly knows how to use props. I really enjoyed the market, um, thinking about their histories, um, the interaction you know, as an artist. Um, if I could pick up an object, um, I like to think about its history, where it's been, you know, if this ornament could speak, if it could sing, if it could dance, what would it tell me? You know, and that's what's exciting. Korean masks used in traditional mask dance performances catch his eye. <laughs> um, I'd have to say, uh, hilarity. <laughs> because, um, the majority of the masks here, or the ones I've seen in Korea, they're all smiling, you know? And I love that. I mean, even uh, this one here, I'm not sure if you can see, but this one is very theatrical. So you've got uh, the happy and the sad. Uh, mostly happy, sometimes sad. Hugh came to this place because a market is where life's many emotions collide. Such emotions inspire him as an artist. Mm -hmm. And so do two musical instruments that he has never seen before. Can I? This side or this side? This side. The tanggu is a Korean percussion instrument. Although it's Hugh's first time playing it, he picks up the beat pretty fast. It's great, I love it. I mean, I'm a bit concerned about the noise, but um, yeah, it's, um, it's, it's a beautiful sound. I'm not sure if I'm playing the right rhythms, but uh, do you play the kind of the, 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 the rim as well? Is that, that's okay? Even people of different linguistic and cultural backgrounds can understand the art of other countries. Uh, it's very traditional. It's very old style, very laid back. Uh, even the pace of life uh, seems a little slower here as well. It's kind of nice. Uh, Where Seoul City is very modern, um, very fast paced, but it works. I like the combination, the old and the new. Uh, the young, yet still withholding its uh, traditions. It's a happy place. The positive emotions that Hugh felt here today will someday resurface through his art. Next, Hugh visits a place that represents the art of Korean people. It's the first national theater in Asia that was founded in 1950. The museum, located at the National Theater, showcases the history of Korean performing art. I found joy in watching the cast members reenact uh, their theater history. The costumes and stage props remind him of musicals. For me, what makes uh, musicals unique 
is the way the story is told, the way the story unfolds in most uh, pieces. Unlike television or pre-recorded shows, it's live and it's different. It grows dynamic, the energy. Uh, there's always something um, that is changing in theatre and that attracts me to it. Hugh wants to learn more about Korea's performances. This is the ultimate goal of his soul trip. Madang Nori is underway at the theater. Madang Nori is a performing art genre that originated from folk plays staged in an open area. Nowadays, they are known as Korean musicals. Um, it was a big space. Uh, and there's kind of no front. Um, so it gave me an idea. Obviously, this performance is going to be on a round, almost like Shakespeare, but, uh, but Korean style, obviously. And um, above uh, the eye level was a, a big, big drape, um, uh, kind of viscous uh, curtain, beautiful. The Madang Nori performance Shim Chung is Coming begins with an exciting rhythm. It is a modern rendition of the Korean classical story Shim Chung. Like any other musical, it features dancing, singing, and humor, but it has a distinctively Korean vibe. So in my view, it's very much traditional Korean uh, in, in its style. So again, very unique in its style. Um, again, classical Korean. What makes it stand apart from musicals is the stage. Uh, Madang Nori, especially, uh, there's not a lot in the sense of um, set and scenery, but with the props and the costumes and the 100% effort from everybody who I saw on the stage. Staged in an open space, Madang Nori engages the audience and portrays the lives of ordinary people through satire and humor. Came in so many varieties, again, so many colors. So visually, really stimulating. And I'm ignorant when it comes to the instruments that were used, but that Eastern sound, that Korean sound, combined uh, with that strength, the feeling, the colors, um, made for a wonderful, unique Korean musical experience. The singing technique for me, because it was so earthy, you're singing without vibrato at points, and it's, it's quite... Uh, it was ethereal. It really did take you back. It, it just it just stripped your soul. In in a sense, it was tribal. It was uh, ethereal, uh, really folk, and certainly um, it 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 touched my soul. Here's the highlight of the performance. Once the performance is over, the cast and the spectators come on stage to celebrate and dance together. Um, but by the end, uh, everybody was on stage, meeting the actors, interacting, and um, I think I think it's wonderful to, to bridge that gap. You know, not to have the actors so far away from the audience, where they're, they're kind of unreachable. It really was electric. It was magical. Um, I'm, I think I'm still buzzing from watching the production. This actor-audience interaction is what makes Madang Nori so different. Madang 
놀이라고 하는 것은 우리의 정책 수 있는 연기죠. 그래서 그 시대의 모든 문제들이 자연스럽게 마당에 녹아납니다. 그래서 그 문제를 연기자들이 제기하고 그것을 관객과 같이 한번 생각을 보기 때문에 자연스럽게 이 시대의 정치상이라든가 사회상이라든가 여러 그 상들이 자연스럽게 반영되는 것이 특징입니다. Hugh looks like a man from the Chosun era, with his hair pulled back and a traditional hat on. The lazy one here. So I'm quite high class right now. Yes. Well, by looking at the hat, I think you are. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> the melody goes like okay. this. Okay. Yes, so many are ready. One, two, three. Yes, so many are ready. Oh, good. Okay. Well, second one. Yes, so many. Wow, you're good. I think you should learn. I'm Absolutely. mimicking. I'm mimicking right now, oh, but I love it. It's really good. You know, don't get me wrong, but it sounds tribal. It sounds so earthy. Oh, uh, okay, okay. Well, let me, let me I love it. Although Madang Nori is based on Pansori, it has theatrical elements, just like musicals. We're feeling. Oh, 8.5 out of 10. That 8. was 5. great. 8. Hugh skillfully yeah. sings a verse, although it's his first time performing the genre. His previous Pansori lesson must have stayed with him. Eight point five out of ten. Yeah, so Madang Nori, uh, Madang being the ground. Nori is to play, but not um, play like a musical, uh, but play and having fun. And I had fun. Yes, yeah, are Good, okay. Yeah. Just enjoy whatever you do. That was Hugh's driving force when he debuted as a musical actor. My man. Thank you. Thanks so much. <laughs> Madang Nori rekindles the passion and determination he had when he was just starting out as an actor. Perhaps discovering your hidden self is the gift of traveling. The next morning, Hugh continues his journey in downtown Seoul.
he arrives at Ihua Village, one of Seoul's oldest neighborhoods, hidden behind tall edifices. I like it a lot. It's very expressive. Um, again, it really uh, does wonders for the imagination. For example, there were some uh, wings on the wall and uh, I was drawn to them, you know? I felt like an angel for a moment. Must be talking to an angel. Must be talking to an angel. Must be talking to an angel. Ihua Village regained its vigor after artists began to draw murals on its aged walls. Alleys in this neighborhood serve as sketchbooks for artists and an attraction for tourists. Though the town is old, there's a youthfulness here. Um, that kind of like inquiring minds, the art, um, again, the murals that are on the wall. It's a mixture of young and old. It's wonderful. The ability to exist in the everyday life and make it beautiful must be the power of art. To me, it's totally different, like um, old and new, you know, downtown here. Uh, I think it's more like metropolitan, you know. Uh, there's more going on here. There's more variety in the shops. Below Ihua Village, there is a completely different world. It's a um, wonderful town. It's called uh, De Haklo and it's where uh, students and young people come uh, to watch theatrical productions. Uh, young directors, young producers, young actors, actresses, and uh, they can learn their trade literally uh, by living in this area, surrounded by theatres that are affordable for them to go to um, on a daily basis. De Hakno is like a miniature version of Britain's West End. This is where big and small performances are staged on a daily basis. Hugh lets the sound of music guide him. Um, obviously, I've come into this fantastic music cafe because uh, I was passing by the, um, the window and I saw some people singing, so I thought, oh, I'll come in and be uh, entertained. It's a performance by a busking team that sings musical numbers. Musical love, I mean. Musical lovers are very many. But the time and economic reasons why people are watching musicals are hard. So we are going to make a musical to sing a musical to the street. We have a busking team. Can I hear a voice for a moment? Do you want to sing a musical? We are singing a musical to the street. 그대로 관객분들한테 전달이 되더라고요. 사랑 노래를 부르면 그 설레임과 그 사랑, 그 아름다운 사랑 그걸 같이 느끼시더라고요. 그래서 좋아하시는 것 같아요. New Love is ready to perform anywhere in order to bring musicals closer to the public. Living up to the name of their group, they perfectly convey their love for musicals. Um, I feel warm, you know. Um, I just love 
their effort, their energy. Um, obviously, they've got a lot to uh, learn, but that's life, you know, and they're very young and they have a lot of time to learn their craft. Uh, they have the courage to stand up and perform in front of people, and that takes a lot, you know, so I really commend them on that. Fantastic guys, fantastic. <laughs> really adds uh, to the culture um, and the entertainment in the city. In fact, free entertainment, live music, there's nothing, nothing better. You're starting. This time, okay. it's Hugh's right. turn to perform. Okay. <laughs> Um, what I love about uh, musicals is the fact that it's live, it's happening, it's growing, it's developing. Um, you could watch the same show a hundred times and the dynamic again will be so, so different. Uh, to me, musicals are living, growing entities. Can you feel the love tonight? When it's laid to rest, it's enough to make kings and vagabonds believe the very best. Charged with the energy and passion of musical busking, Hugh heads to his next stop. This is where you can learn about the 50-year history of Korean contemporary musicals. It's Arco Arts Archive, which collects and keeps materials on Korean performances and arts. The archive was created to share resources on art creation, research, and education. It provides information on and offline. Um. This archive is tremendous. There are so, well, there's just so much here, you know, from plays to operas, uh, to concerts, uh, obviously to musicals. Oh, look, I have Sweeney Todd. I remember this. I remember this very well. No, there's no place like London. was a very special place in my heart um, as I was the first black UK actor in history to play the title role of uh, Sweeney Todd. Musical Sweeney Todd is based on a play of the same title. Hugh played the lead in the musical and stunned the audience with his portrayal of the vengeful and bizarre character. It's fantastic. I love this. Great musical. Really good fun. Gruesome, but fun. You know this one? Miss Saigon? We always say, um, the heat is on in Saigon. Um, I played the role of John. <sighs> Emotionally charged musical. I'm very passionate about this one. One of my favorite musicals. Hugh has already appeared in numerous productions, but there is one particular musical he wants to watch here. I'm not sure, but I recognize the writing on this one. It's, um, I think it's the first um, Korean musical. Um, I'd love to watch this one. What was the first Korean original musical like?
the musical begins with throbbing and uniquely Korean music. Unfortunately, it's only a reenactment of the very first Korean musical, which premiered in 1966, but it still conveys all the emotions of the first chapter of the 50-year history of Korean musicals. It's really um, animated, really colorful. Um, I can see the kind of traditional folk dance in here as well. So many elements uh, with the lighting and the sound. Hugh is impressed by the uniquely Korean plot, traditional costumes, and modern directing techniques. And uh, you've got the kind of uh, real kind of comedy in here as well. Um, and I love the kind of the, the physicality uh, of some of the players. Uh, the makeup is very strong, moustache, eyebrows. There's, there's so much to see, so much to do. I'm really listening and really watching. In addition to videos, this archive also keeps photos and scripts. <laughs> the pantomime horse is fun. very funny, very funny. And him, okay. Uh -huh. the yeah. music, so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Sweet, Come to Me Stealthily, premiered in 1966 as the first Korean musical. Its magnificent scale and unique promotional methods created a sensation 50 years ago. Musical Kogel Logum Reso, Radio Hulio Bodegasco, Saram de Kiks Kaki Hangoguo, E. Kogel, Purunsaram, Hanguk Kitanshi Kinjang Yumanga, Petigimiran, Kasu, Kasta Marketing, its own Yera was Smita. Aha. What does Hugh, who comes from the home country of musicals, think about the first Korean original musical? I can really feel the connection of watching the first uh, Western-style Korean musical. I could... Um, the, 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 the music, the orchestration, the lighting, the sound, it, it's really actually very similar to how theatre is today, um, based in 1966. It's something I could watch today. You know, it's something that could be reproduced and put in a, in a, uh, in a production on the West End. Korea, which has grown rapidly economically and culturally, has a unique culture in which traditions coexist with modernity. Gyeongbokgung Palace, located in the heart of Seoul, is just one example. Seoul and Korea and the values of the Korean people um, withhold uh, still today. So I love the combination of the old and the new and the mixed uh, culture. Gyeongbokgung Palace is a symbol of Seoul's 600-year history and part of its cultural heritage. The changing of the guard ceremony is underway at the palace. There is a similar ceremony in Britain. It's, it's very uh, colorful, um, very regal, and I felt as proud and as spiritual uh, and historically, you know. It may be just another exotic sight seen at a tourist spot, but to Hugh, it has a special meaning. Um, as an artist, uh, coming to places like this uh, that are old, um, it inspires me. It uh, gives me a, a sense of uh, foundation, uh, that tradition. That's because the histories learned, stories heard, and experiences gained during traveling influence musical actors. This is the reason traveling is so important to Hugh.
After learning about Pansori, Madang Nori, and the first Korean musical, he was curious about where Korean musicals stand now. He wants to find out more about modern day musicals and the secrets to their immense popularity. A rehearsal for the musical The Last Empress is underway. Um, again, very um, traditional. Um, I think about 1890 this particular piece is set in. Uh, it's when the Japanese uh, invaded uh, Korea and assassinated uh, the Queen. So I was horrified just by the story alone. The Last Empress is one of the most famous Korean original musicals. It was the first Korean musical to be staged on Broadway in the US and West End in the UK. It remains as popular as when it premiered back in 1995. <laughs> Hugh is intrigued by the choreography that includes elements of Korean martial arts. I really enjoyed watching the dance. Um, it's a mixture of martial arts, uh, taekwondo, I believe, uh, yet there was uh, modern in there, it was balletic, so lots of high leaps. It really is uh, the creative team and their wonderful minds and their imaginations. After watching the rehearsal for a while, Hugh decides to try the military art dance. Da, 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 da. Think up, think up, think up. My turn. <laughs> Feeling slightly nervous, Hugh joins the team. Oh. Uh, but I really enjoyed uh, the effort and learning the techniques. But it was great, again, just to watch the, um, the creation of a musical. Of course, the music is another reason to watch this production. The renowned music director Kim Moon Jung heads the team. Her philosophy and style are passed on to Hugh. It's really Korean in its style, and that's something I've never heard before. It just rouses an energy inside of you. It's very mystical. It starts off almost like very soulful, you know, but then it rises up, becomes strong, uh, you know, enthusiastic, very powerful, um, and very unique, very Korean. The combination of uniquely Korean sounds and Western orchestra create an unusual harmony. And again, it just uh, really inspires you and makes the imagination run wild. Also, what I like about uh, uh, musicals and musical theatre um, is the mixed mediums, the acting, the singing, and the dancing, um, the history that, in, that is involved. It's 
a magical world. You can cover so many grounds. You're going there to be taken away into that magical world that is theatre. It's time to wrap up Hugh's travels in Seoul that introduced him to Korean music, from Pansori to modern day musicals. Uh, what is Seoul? <sighs> For me, it's the people. Um, the friendliness, the openness, and really have a sense of who they are and what Seoul and what Korea is about, you know. And again, it's about strength, it's about honor and about integrity. It's said that what's the most Korean is also the most global. The combination of traditions and modernity is the power that has placed Korean musicals under the global spotlight. What does Hugh think about Korean art and musicals that he has experienced in Seoul? It's a wonderful city to come on an adventure and find yourself. Um, it affects me as an actor being in Seoul, again, because of the traditional way of life, um, yet it's very fast paced. Uh, reminded me actually for myself that I need to go back to basics. Uh, don't overcomplicate life, just enjoy being uh, organic, uh, living in the now, living in the present. And I think that's what Seoul does, even though it withholds its uh, tradition. Hugh Maynard, a musical actor who portrays a wide spectrum of emotions, is ready for his next stage.